I have a fear of receiving complaints. What should I do? Hi, my name is Martha. I'm a clinical sexologist with a doctorate in human sexuality. I'm also a relationship coach, and you can find me at eroscoaching.com. So um, most of us wouldn't really like it when people say negative things to us, whether it's professionally or personally. I think that's just human. However, one of the things that we want to take note of is in what capacity are they giving us this criticism? Uh, and often it has nothing to do with us personally. Uh, so for instance, they might be uh, complaining about the workshop duration or the content, which uh, has to do with who designed the curriculum in the first place. They could be uh, complaining about things that are beyond your control, like for instance, the uh, delivery of the refreshments uh, or the start time of the workshop uh, when you are the one who works with an organizer and uh, you basically just do the delivery, for instance. So there might be many other um, situations that you'll find yourself in. And uh, what you're going to find is that people are giving you a criticism of things that you have no control over and actually has uh, nothing to do with you. So the thing you want to take note of is that a lot of times it's not personal. It's not about you. What you can say is thanks for your feedback. I will uh, let the person know. Uh, or, you can, or you can take responsibility and say something along the lines of, yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, this uh, happened. But yes, we um, can definitely improve in the future. So you are going through the process of making an apology on behalf of the organization. And indeed, it is uh, nothing to do with you. However, there are situations in which the, the criticism uh, is directed at us personally. For instance, they might say things like, uh, you know, the way you spoke was not clear or you speak too fast. Uh, so that's directly uh, um, related to you. And one of the things that um, I just want to share personally is that when I first started my practice, I was not very open to uh, feedback. What I, what I did instead was I gave out feedback forms and I got people to uh, fill it up. And over time, not immediately, but over time, I started to realize that most people are actually pretty fair in their comments. And most people will not say things that is not true. In fact, most people were nicer than me than I would if I was giving feedback on a feedback form. Most people were much nicer people than me, I realized. And so over time, I've learned that uh, you know, I really, really, really want to know what they think. And so I got to the point of being really confident in myself and really, really wanting to improve, like really wanted to improve. And so I decided to start asking them uh, what they thought. And um, I was disappointed when I didn't get any real constructive um, feedback any ways in which I can genuinely improve. And so a way in which you can reframe negative criticism or feedback uh, or fear of is to tell yourself that this is free research, that if you are a person of excellence, this person is giving you uh, free research, is giving you some kind of a benefit, then they, they're not going to get anything out of giving you this feedback. And most people just don't want to be Mr. Bad Guy, uh, Mrs. Bad Guy, or Mr. Miss, um, anyway, <laughs> don't want to be the bad person. And so they, they don't say anything. And people who don't say anything, uh, sometimes it's not that they don't want to be the bad person. Sometimes it's because they can't be bothered. They just can't be bothered to go out of their way uh, to uh, give that uh, extra step. And so people who are doing that, uh, sometimes instead of thinking that they are just complaint queens and kings, uh, is that they're actually doing you a favor. If you're in the spirit of genuinely wanting to know, if you're afraid of not wanting to know or afraid of not being able to handle it, uh, what's actually happening is you are insecure within yourself about your own capabilities. And uh, this is something that will actually change over time as you be become more experienced, you're going to notice that you naturally will probably get to this phase that I'm at, which is I genuinely want to know. And I become more and more fearless and more and more uh, thick-skinned, uh, what we call thick-skinned, 
Um, and so treat it as simply information. Uh, no matter what they say, uh, try to be calm, be confident in yourself, and be caring, be caring. Care about people. Um, nobody likes to be treated as a number or statistic. And so no matter what it is they're saying, um, having that genuine interest in what they are saying actually helps uh, them to know that it's taken in the positive light. So these are my uh, comments about negative uh, criticism. I'd love to hear from you. And you can post your comments below, share it so that more people will benefit from it because we learn more when we hear from each other. And um, I definitely don't know everything. I'm just sharing what I do know and uh, my thoughts. Uh, also, if you have questions, you can post uh, in the comments box below. And there's always the option of emailing me and you can email me at ask at arrowscoaching.com.